What's up guys? This is Wayne here coming at you with a little video for intraday trade. It's about 1.45 p.m. Eastern Time, April 30th. And I'm looking at AMC, AMC Entertainment. I'm, I'm super bullish on this, by the way. Super bullish. I mean, so bullish that I put my whole entire IRA in AMC and GME. But that's for another day. But look at this, this just pay attention to this little area right here. This is this is a, a great consolidation. And last time we consolidated like this, we had a nice little run up. Am I saying that's going to happen? I don't know, but it's, I mean, when you're doing technical analysis, you use what you, the tools you have to make your predictions. So I'm personally getting into some options for for uh, for next week and also for the, for the week after, so May 7th and also May 14th. I'll probably do some add-the-money calls just to see where this thing moves. And I think it's going to take a nice little move up. The reason why, and a lot of people have been like, what's going on with AMC? It's down today. Uh, listen, man, you buy the dip, you sell the rip. And when in doubt, zoom out. So if you zoom out, this is the five-minute chart. Let's look at the 15-minute, right? Where did this thing go? I don't know what the heck just happened. Where did my lines go? What the heck is going on? Where did I go? <clears throat> Um, anyway, so you don't need to see me, but I don't know why this is showing up like this. <coughs> Excuse me, damn, got the COVID. <clears throat> so if you look at the chart, right, this is, this chart is a, um, symmetrical triangle. And so, you know, if you know anything about, you know, you know, patterns and day trading and stuff like that, symmetrical triangles and triangles, um, are really good bullish and bearish signals. So this is a really good bullish signal. Why? Because we're at the tip. We're getting towards the tip of this triangle. And usually it breaks out early. I've seen a lot of tri triangles break out er early. So I'm just letting you guys know that with this consolidation, there's a possible possibility for a really nice breakout to the upside. We could be seeing a nice, you know, 10 to 17 percent pop in price. Um, you know, it could very well touch this lot, this resistance and come back down and then break out. But I think it may break out early. So what I'm doing is buying some options. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm just letting you know what I'm doing. But <clears throat> what I personally, my strategy is I have um, I have a, uh, a lot of my, I have my entire IRA in uh, AMC and GMA. OK, and my strategy is I've, I've, I've uh, diversified a little bit. Right. I got 50 percent in AMC, 50 percent in GME, and I have 50 percent of my. So that's 50 percent of my portfolio. So the other 50 percent of my portfolio are in options, leap options, options out that are out three months, six months, nine months, a year, two years. And I also do these little weekly options. Right. Because this when this thing goes, it's going to freaking go nuts. And I want to be able to capitalize on that, right? I want to be able to sell the first thing I'm selling are my 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 weekly options. And I'm going to go towards my my monthly options. And then I'm going to go out six months, eight months, a year, two years. But I plan on letting the leap options ride, right? The, far, the further along out the options are, I'm going to let those ride. And I'm definitely letting my shares ride. I'm just going to let those marinate and get, let those tendies get cooked. And I'm take, not taking out my AMC options, I mean AMC shares, until I see two, three, four, five thousand dollars, um, probably more like a thousand dollars. But with GME, I'm definitely not taking those out until I definitely hit at least a couple thousand with that. Because if it if it if it if it hit five hundred dollars and the squeeze didn't even happen last time, please believe that this thing has got to at least hit two, three, four, five grand before you know things start slowing down. But um. Listen, guys, if you if you need someone to coach you, I love coaching new beginners to trading because the information I just I, I look at myself like I started somewhere and I never really had someone to really do a one on one. So I'm offering one on one coaching. Hit me up on Instagram. The link is in the description below. And, you know, what's really cool about getting a mentor is that you get to shorten your learning curve. You get to learn everything that person knows in a short amount of time. So that way you don't make the mistakes. You don't make the thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars of mistakes that I've made. So I'm encouraging you to mentor with someone. It doesn't have to be with me. Maybe you don't get along with me. Maybe you'll get along with someone else. But get a mentor, take a course, 
learn. Don't just sit there and just buy things blindly. But you know, if you want to learn charting, if you want to learn my whole mindset behind trading, let me know. Uh, like I said, the, the link is in the description below. I have uh, a calendar there as well, so that you can pick and choose the time that you want to be coached. I'm offering 60 seconds, 60 seconds, 60 minute coaching for either $30 an hour, or you can get four sessions for $100. So uh, you can choose those, you know, you can choose the time and the date, all that stuff. I'm really flexible. But listen, guys, um, have fun. Let's trade and make some money. Peace.